back to the last day of our bike tour and we're just packing up now this is probably the bit you never see um probably the worst bit having to put everything back in the bags uh, but it is an incredible day today you've got to have a look at this what a stunning morning hello hello do you want to come on the bike as well your little face look at your little face eh? your little face <laughs> So today we're heading home, we've got 50 miles, just short of 50 miles I think it is, um, but after 10 miles we've got a coffee stop at Ginny's in Boynton. Fingers crossed they're open <laughs> after yesterday, um, but it is a glorious morning for a bike ride. Just shame it's all coming to an end really. a great start climb straight out the bat and my legs aren't working oh how far was it to the cafe <laughs> We've had a very uh, uphill start and now we're on this concrete drove which we've got to get to so that we can get over the 303 into the Wiley Valley. Uh, it's got a few potholes but it's not too bad, it's not as bad as the gravel. Um, at least we've actually got a view today over to my right shoulder we've got where we've just come up from a nice view down into the valley so all is good, cafe's getting closer. So just realised where we are, that was Hanging Langford and long time viewers of the channel will know that's where I broke my trek. So this is me cycling the Wiley Valley with a good bottom bracket. The good news is though Ed from Grand Tour Cycling has fixed the trek, he did message me a couple of days ago so I can pick it up on my return so I'm excited to get back on the trek. That was Gert Lush, literally, because that's what the name of the breakfast was. Um, it's 11k to Shearwater now. Coffee, cake, anyone? Well, he thought I was joking. <laughs> we don't want to go home. We're in no hurry to go home. But Bakewell cake at Shearwater is one of my favourite cakes. So I'm not I'm not passing this place without having more cake. Especially if we've got to go up another hill to the top of Gare Hill now. Before we get to Bruton. The perfect summer is over in a flash and you're on your way. Somebody open for tonight it's not too late my mind says yes you've been here for quite some time she's gone really quiet we've been uh cycling into a headwind all the way home and i'm not going to complain because it's not a massive headwind but the weather has been so kind to us these last five days how could you complain just beautiful and beautiful again today the sun lovely I'm dead 
Deb's slowly choking in the background. <laughs> Too much orange juice. But we are now at the highest point of today's ride. So it's only downhill from here, <laughs> which you know is true. Now we have another little rise out of Bruton and one up from Raxall, but that is it. This is now a fast ascent that she's gonna enjoy. Are we at the end or are we at the start? 129 beats oh, we've made a way to ditch it. Uh, so not far to go now. Um, after day two, Deb did admit that she probably bitten off a bit more than she could chew. She was struggling with her saddle um, after two days, um, but she's got better. But today, yeah, I'm really struggling just to even sit on the saddle now. <laughs> My legs are fine. Everything else is fine. I feel really strong, but just so uncomfortable sitting on the saddle. Uh, <laughs> can have a bit of a drink, a bit of rest, get some blood flowing again making up the very last climb up to West Bradley and then roll all the way back to Glastonbury. There we are, done. So the answer to the question, can a cyclist and a non-cyclist go on a bicycle tour together? The answer is yes. Although the cyclist is suffering more than the non-cyclist. Um, sitting down is a problem. But I'm gonna see if I can get these edited as quickly as possible. Um, so hopefully they'll come out day to day to day. I've had a really, really good time. Really, really enjoyable. Highlight for me, Hengitsbury Head. I've definitely got to go back there and do some exploring. Um, we had some really nice accommodations as well. Um, the Lime Cottage Loft last night was amazing. The Sleep Out was amazing. Um, Fording Bridge, the Annex was amazing. And uh, yeah, Sandbanks was brilliant as well. Just, just four really nice accommodations. Uh, I'll put a link to all the accommodations on Airbnb in the descriptions of each video. Uh, and if you're interested in doing this tour, just drop me uh, a line in the comments. Any questions you've got about the setup, what we took, um, how we went about planning it, the routes, if you want the routes and the GPX files, just put it down in the comments and I will do my best to pass them on. Or I might even stick the GPX file in the description if I can. Um, but other than that, that was incredible. Uh, absolutely incredible. Some really, really good days of cycling. Some tough bits, some beautiful bits. That 10 kilometer stretch of gravel yesterday from um, Fovent, the top of Fovent climb all the way to Salisbury um, is the reason why I'm struggling to sit down. It was very, very bumpy. Uh, probably more gravel bike than touring bike. As I said yesterday, the Orbit Velocity tandem was absolutely incredible. It just goes everywhere. Um, no punctures, no rain. What more could you ask for? Happy me, happy wife, happy life. And to Debbie, thank you ever so much for indulging me. Um, I know it's not the thing you've wanted to do the most, but I hope you've really enjoyed it. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We will see you in the next video, which should be, uh, will be next week for me, but it'll be a couple of days for you. Should be Dartmoor. Uh, we've got the Isle of Wight on the 10th, and I think I'm doing Exmouth, Estuary and Haldon Forest the week after that. So that's the next three weeks of riding. Um, I still don't know if I'm gonna be out Sunday. You'll know already, because you'll have seen the video. Um, I might have a rest and just whip out the editing. But thank you very much for watching. If you like these videos and you'd like to see more of them, don't forget to like, uh, drop us a comment, subscribe if you want to, um, click the notification bell as well. And then anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know, and it will really boost and help the channel grow. And a really big thank you as well to Darren Alf, the Bicycle Touring Pro. Um, your videos 
have got my wife interested in going on a bike tour. Um, I owe it all to you for getting her out on the bike and she's absolutely loved it. Um, and again, I can't say thank you enough, Darren. Uh, I hope you've watched these videos actually and I hope you like them. But we will see you very, very soon, probably two days time for you in the next video on Dartmoor. And for those interested, four hours, nine minutes, 78 kilometers, averaged 18.9 on the way home, maximum of 60. We did 829 meters of climb.